Another story developing tonight. Deputies are trying to figure out who killed two people inside a Manatee County home early this morning. They say a group of men grabbed a woman outside her home in Bayshore Gardens and forced her into a bedroom. She escaped but says she heard yelling and gunshots. When deputies got there, they found two dead men in the home. It's a crime they say was intentional. Lived here 40 years and this is just nuts. Absolutely nuts. I've never seen this many cops in all my life. Paul Hennessy says this neighborhood in Bayshore Gardens is usually quiet. You hear about Bayshore Gardens turning into a crime ridden area, and it's not. It really isn't. That's across 41. But patrol cars and investigators lined Harvard Avenue on Saturday. And I saw the sheriff's department down there, and I knew that it was probably going to be bad news. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office is still looking for the suspects of a shooting hours after it happened around 4 a.m. A 25 year old woman living in this home told deputies she was approached by three to four suspects. She was forced into a bedroom inside the home where she heard yelling and gunshots from outside the door. She escaped and called 911. Deputies arrived to find two men dead inside the home. There were two individuals that came to the residence after the female was in there that are not the bad guys. Santiago Herrera says he saw a man running through his neighbor's yard minutes after the shooting. When I seen the guy coming over, jumped the fence and they want to jump at my fence. He was looking out there and he was scared, real scared, the poor guy. Then the next thing I knew, all kind of police cars are here. Another body was found in Sarasota just a few hours later off Bay of Vista Street. Sarasota police don't believe the public is in danger, but they're investigating a possible connection to the homicides in Bayshore Gardens. There's too much hate in the world, and it's too easy for people to just pop a cap on somebody when they get mad.